1940, a dangerous, smoke-filled city in a time of survival. You want beer, whiskey? Better make a beer. We can't afford the whiskey. For Madeline Ball, it's a chance to be a star. Guess who's going to be singing in this gin mill tomorrow night? You're looking at it, Madeline Ball. For Lou Atwater, it's a business opportunity of a lifetime. You're a stand-up guy. Just the kind of man I'm looking for. Looking for to do what? I'm looking for somebody with some accounting expertise who can juggle some numbers. For Mickey and Warren, it's the chance to get the biggest score of their lives. 150 grand. How much space does something like that take up, Warren? We're all 20s. Small enough for that briefcase Lou carries around. Briefcase full of dreams, huh? And who is Giselle? Is it alright if I can say that I kissed the great Mickey John again? Giselle? Al? It's your game, Giselle. No game. I just want in on the party. Whatever it is. Meanwhile, I'll be singing here. An audition won't be necessary. You know my talents. I noticed on the marquee, they put your name above mine. I'm tired of being a loser, word. Forget about waiting for my star to rise. It's time for Mickey Donegan to take what's his. I'm gonna go legit. A regular job, like at the library. Now I'm getting in deep. I know more than I want to know. Don't you ever disrespect me. Not to my face, not behind my back, and definitely not in front of the hired help. Do I make myself clear? I love singing and dancing, but what I really want to be is an actress. Hollywood is where I'm headed. I never bother. Five cats, one briefcase, two train tickets. <laughs> Mickey and Worm, a noir stage production. Brought to you by InnoVision Entertainment. You know, Worm, after tonight, nothing's ever gonna be the same.